lose your two best players heading into the spring. Strickler injured right now, could return soon. And then obviously Daniel Pereira, uh, a generational talent. Yeah, of course, losing both of those players is, is a huge loss for Virginia Tech. There's, it goes without saying, but um, I think Coach Mike Brissendine wants to see some players really step up. When you lose two quality players in Strickler and Pereira, that just calls for another guy's number. Um, and, and I think he wants to see Cameron Joyce really take over um, and Labovitz really as well. And we've seen Labovitz do just that as he was able to score against Coastal Carolina, currently leading the league in game-winning goals. You see some changes here for the Hokies as it looks like Chris Little and Kyle Stenzel will take a seat. And Bloomler, as well as Itherson, checking in. Lob into the box, chance for the Hokies, and they get one back. Labovitz, the bicycle kick, finds the back of the net, and wow, we're scoring all over the place today. Yeah, three pretty quick goals in a short amount of time, and, and the, here we see the Cora Cadets cheering their Hokies on, but a great finish by Labovitz, um, great service to the box as well. Just talking about Labovitz, three game-winning goals so far this year, four total, and he puts his fifth on the board and cuts the deficit in half here, now two to one Duke. That'll definitely be on SportsCenter. What a finish by Labovitz. Over, over his back shoulder, those long throw-ins coming back to bite the Blue Devils. An unbelievable display of athleticism there for Labovitz. Certainly a star up front for the Hokies. Duke trying to answer.